how to transfer files from your DSLR camera to your laptop. This will be a starter video to get you sorted out. You'll need a few things to help you along the way. And I've basically got this video to help you. So if you've taken lots of photos with your camera, what type of memory card are you using? You could in theory connect your camera directly to your laptop via a lead which is normally a mini USB to USB, which allows you to transfer files off your camera. That's option one. So you can have that on your desktop or your laptop. But alternatively, if you wanna do it another way, this is the memory card that my camera takes. Most laptops won't accept this card. This is a CF card, compact flash. Normally laptops have a SD card reader. So if you lift your laptop up, you'll see in the bottom a slot, which allows this camera to be slotted in something like that. So it kind of plugs in the laptop and it recognizes the card. That can be a lower speed. It's normally USB 2, depending on your laptop and what make it is. But say if you've got like 16 gigabytes worth of video on there, you don't want to wait a whole day to download the video. You can buy a USB 3 card reader, just like this one here. It's a Lexar brand. And the good thing about this one is it kind of closes, but you can push aside and it opens it to avoid dust getting in there. But now I can use my compact flash card I can put it into here he says just like that it clips in and that USB goes into my computer and then I can transfer the files off at a quicker speed so I can basically go to the computer and copy these files off which allows me to use all the files and the video from that and if you have more than one camera type you can also put a micro SD card in and read from both cards um, if you have an action camera, which I do a lot of testing on in my channel, you might have a small micro card, but that's no problem. You can actually put, you can get like an adapter there, which you put the micro card in, if you don't drop it on the floor like I just did. And you can just whack it inside this, like that, and there you go. So you're able to read three memory card types on one card reader at a higher speed, which lets you pull off the video files and the photos onto your computer or laptop to be able to edit them. I also did some videos about photo editing software and what's some good editing software that you can use for free. I'll link it to a playlist. You can watch more about that. But you know what? We're getting there slowly. I'll give you some more starter videos to get us sorted out. I'll see you on my next video here.